Next stop. Kota. Kinabalu. Ooh. This episode, we start our journey in Kota Kinabalu in Borneo. This was a brief stop before heading to our main attraction. What is it? Big stick, mate. <laughs> the Sabah State Museum had lots of information about animal species and the heritage of the state. Here's some artwork from the head of state. <laughs> well, once a rebel, always a rebel. Oh, I mean, it's a packed museum, who's going to catch me? Chop off your fucking head to it. Well, that's why it is a headhunter. Why are their leaves so big? Leaf it out. Dickhead. So Charlie, where are we today? What, physically, mentally? <laughs> Both, maybe? We are physically hot, sweating. We are in Borneo. We are at the Sabah Art Gallery. I just want to say, push you too close to car. <laughs> Not bad. Just a street away from our Airbnb was a night market which happened to be around the Chinese New Year. So as a result, we were able to get involved with the celebrations. So the last three days we've been on a river safari. I uh, don't know how to pronounce the river, so I'm just going to place it somewhere here. Um, amazing experience. The company we went for was River Junkie. For three days and two nights, this came to a cost of £189. We were very lucky to see this elephant, as they said one hadn't been seen since October, which was three months ago.
Whilst you're there, you enjoy two afternoon cruises, two night treks, one day trek and two morning cruises. It's about 6 a.m. Uh, it's dark, it's pissing it down in the jungle. But we're gonna go out on a boat and hopefully see some shit. Probably no monkeys though. We had an idea of what animals we might see, but we had no idea the amount. If you looked hard enough, you could find animals everywhere. Unfortunately, we only saw one wild orangutan from a far distance. However, this didn't matter as we were so lucky to see all the other animals so close up. Are heading to the orangutan rehabilitation centre and then later on we're going to do the rainforest discovery centre so just seen the first feeding um, we saw three big orangutans two little orangutans and then loads of um, pygmy and short tail the cats um the whole situation is so bizarre it's so lovely seeing it but it's not very serene there there's lots of like people talking and kids shouting, kids shouting despite there being signs saying silence <laughs>
one of the workers when we left and they said in the program there is 40 to 45 orangutans um, and they can live in the wild on their own there's no reliance on the center but they give them bananas twice a day just to help with the diet and they also said that one of the facts about the orangutans is that if fruit is in season you won't be seeing them on their feed purely because they can grab their own fruit and there's no need for the guides to be able to give that to them for their diet you'll see that a lot of the macaques around there are actually not on the program it's not an orangutan and macaques program so they actually just come to steal the food and then just leave. <laughs> researcher I do a very good job at finding transport any accommodation where to go what to do not so good with the weather probably should research that a bit better welcome to Bear Grylls made a friend uh. ah! <laughs> we also had plans to see the proboscis monkey sanctuary but after some digging online we decided it's a no from us. So we've travelled to Semporna, which is the east side of Sabah. Uh, today we've gone on a island hopping tour. So far, oh, it's been been uh, pretty unorganised. Yeah, it's not been the best. We haven't had so any communication whatsoever. We got, we got picked up from our hotel, drove to a port. Yeah, which is expected, you know. Thrown on a boat, no one said anything, just pointed our life jacket or something, understandable. Okay, yeah. yeah. Then we drove to some like island resort. And then we're like, oh okay, maybe we're just getting off here and like walking no, down. No, no. We're, we're just waiting for people that don't understand the concept of being on time, <laughs> which really pisses me off. <laughs> and then we're waiting about and no one says anything. Then we wait somewhere else and then we've just got to this island. Do you remember what it's called? No idea, no. No. It, it's not very loud. <laughs> um, and everyone's going for a hike. And, but we chose this tour so we wouldn't have to hike because Rosie's got a bad ankle. So now we're going to go look, look, like, look like melons and just stand by the boat, which is going to be so fun. So I can't wait for that. So as you can tell, Charlie is really enjoying this tour. <laughs> Despite the tour not being the best, the water and the views were absolutely gorgeous and by the end of the day Charlie was even cracking a smile. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, give us a like and subscribe. Bye -bye.